let's talk about file management. A tool provided in the Mac operating system to help us with our files is the Finder tool. We can use Finder to organize our files. The folder icons you see within Finder represent a file folder that was commonly used with filing cabinets to organize hard copy or paper documents. Finder is a tool provided in the Mac operating system to help us with our digital files. We can use it to see our files and organize our files. Notice on the left, there are areas where we can save our files. For ease of use with GitHub and VS Code that we're going to be using later, we will use the Documents area to organize our project files. This is an area that's on the hard drive of your computer, not on the cloud. For example, if I were in MS Word and had created a new document, then I went to save the file and the save file window opens. There you can name your file and choose the area you want to save it to. And if you wanted it on your hard drive, you'd click here and choose documents. And this is not in the cloud. Now, back in the finder window, you can also see this same document. This file's placement is what they would call being at the root level of the document folder. It is not inside any other folder except documents at this point. Now to organize my files, I might create folders to hold related files in. If I don't do this and leave all of my files on the root level of documents, I could have an unorganized large list of files and it might be hard to find a particular file later. As a student, I might have a folder called BYUI that, that I would put all of my school files in. I can click here on the action icon and choose new folder from the drop down menu. Then I would give it a name. As a web developer, I have gotten into the habit of always naming all files and folders with lowercase letters and no spaces. This becomes important when using files in web addresses and with GitHub later. So I will demonstrate setting up a web project with all lowercase and no spaces for not only files, but folder names as well. Now I have an empty folder and I can open it up by double clicking it. Notice the back and forward buttons near the top allow you to follow the pathway of your files. Now I might set up more folders inside of BYU for each class. So I can nest folders inside of folders. I could right click and set up a folder called English 101. In Word, maybe I'm creating my first English assignment. And now when I save it, I can find my English 101 folder and save it there. If I need to have a space between words in a file name, I can always use an underscore or a dash. Saving it in the English 101 folder ensures that all my English assignments can be in the same spot and be easier to find rather than if I'd left all my assignments for every class and my personal life and my church calling, all files on the root level of documents without organizing it in this manner.